Hey guys, it's Movies with Bruce again. We just got off the air uh, this morning with Scotty Campbell on 92.9 WFAC Super Talk. Um, do that every Thursday. So if you don't catch me here on Facebook, if you're not a Facebook person, you can catch me over on 92.9 WFAC Super Talk. Scotty Campbell also has a podcast. You can catch all the shows Monday through Friday after he gets off the air. We appreciate you tuning in for Movies with Bruce here on Facebook, and we're also putting it over on YouTube for those that aren't on Facebook. So how are things going? Things aren't going too good. Why? Well, i got to be honest with you. Ticket sales are down, and I mean way down. From this time last year, last year's box office suite that was sitting at a huge $286 million for President's Day weekend. This year... 125 million. That's way down. See the graph there. <laughs> anyway, so w what causes it? Well, Movies with Bruce has got the inside scoop. This time last year was the phenomenon known as Black Panther, which is kind of a, a version out right now. I think they try to call it a Aquaman. It's an underwater version of Black Panther. Anyway, Black Panther happened this time last year, which really drove up ticket sales. But also, if you remember, we talked about this time last year, Movie Pass. Movie Pass was really at its height back then. I remember a lot of folks taking advantage of Movie Pass, saying that they saw Black Panther six times, eight times, ten times. They wouldn't ordinarily have done that. They hadn't had Movie Pass. Anyway, 286 million, 125 million. Black Panther's part of it. Another reason is, guys, ticket sales are okay, but they're just not that good for knockoff sci-fi. That's what I call it, knockoff sci-fi. What is that? Well, that's uh, science fiction movies that are not superhero-based, Marvel, Batman, Wonder Woman, all that good stuff. They're not superhero-based, and they're not Star Wars. Uh, what we're talking about is one that's at the box office right now, Alita, Mortal Engines, things like that. So speaking of that, what are the top four movies at the box office right now? Alita, I've not seen it yet. I want to see that. Lego 2 is coming way in under budget. Um, that's number two. Isn't It Romantic is number three at the box office. I actually went to see that this weekend with my kids, my family, and everything. It's a cute movie. It's good. Um, Rebel Wilson does a good job. Um, it's a good movie. It's a little slow in spots, and there's some you know humor that doesn't have to be there. But Isn't It Romantic overall I thought was pretty good. What Men Want rounds out the top four in ticket sales. Okay, but there is a ray of hope on the horizon, guys. What's coming out this weekend? Family-friendly, How to Train Your Dragon, Hidden World. Again, how many times can you go to the well with something? So what is this, the third or fourth installment of that? So will it work? Who knows, but it's probably going to be family-friendly. Fighting with my family. Yeah, you probably haven't seen that one or seen the previous four. It's coming in under the radar. This is a Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Fighting with my family has to do with wrestling. It has to do with actually Paige, if you're familiar with uh, the wrestling world. You want to see that because it's uh, got you know, you know The Rock in it. You want to see it because it's about Paige or about wrestling. That's cool. Not sure about it being family friendly. Haven't looked at that. But... Dwayne Johnson, again, is making a comeback. If you watch your previews, he's going to have two, maybe three movies going on at the theater. So watch for him. What's going to save, not just save the Avengers, but maybe save ticket sales? March the 8th, coming up, already on pre-sale, Captain Marvel. Looks good. Probably go see that one. All right, what's my fourth movie that's coming up for the weekend? This is the one we wanted to talk about. Um, the Upside... Glass and Isn't It Romantic. That's my three picks, okay? Upside, Glass, and Isn't It Romantic. Now, number four. Number four, we said Dwayne The Rock Johnson is back. Well, number four, this is the first time for executive producer Tim Tebow. That's right, executive producer Tim Tebow. Run the Race. This is a faith-based film or Torn Family the mother's passed away. The dad has abandoned the two sons. And they've got to find a way to escape what seems to be their ill-fated life. So reviews on this one are coming in. Run the race. It looks like it's, of course, family-friendly, face-based. 
Uh, it's about, you know, a family that's going through a lot of turmoil. You've got uh, football, athleticism, faith, family, and the amazing reminder that God weaves all things together. So I think it's going to be interesting to note what I've heard, the people along the way that these two brothers encounter, people that come across to mentor, to coach, to encourage, to empower. And I just think it's going to be something that if you watch this movie, I think that's what's going to jump out at you is the folks that these two brothers encounter along the way run the race. So what might be an upcoming event at a theater near you? Well, I'm glad you asked me. And the thing about it is, I could take just a second of your time. If you work at a movie theater in or around the Tri-Cities or the WFHG listening area, listen up. If you have a friend that works at a theater, listen up. I love to put these events out there, things that are going on at the local theater, but you know, I've reached out to a couple of theaters here in the area that still have just never gotten back to me. We want to highlight you. I want to talk about what's going on at your theater. So if you know somebody that works at a theater or if you yourself work at a theater, contact me on Facebook, Movies with Bruce. Let me know what's going on. Let me give you an example. Tri-City 7, one of my most favorite theaters of all time, they have an upcoming event. It's, it is a painting party. And if you look on Facebook under painting parties, this will be at Tri-City 7 RSVP, Sunday the 24th, 2 to 4.30. They are on Facebook, painting and ampersand in a movie. And I'm going to give you a link to that on Movies with Bruce as well. So if you're at that theater, reach out to me, yell at me, let me know what's going on. Remember we broke the news for the Abingdon Cinema having the big arcade coming in, some of the flashback movies that are at the Pinnacle and Tinseltown. Yell at me, give me some, some info, and we'll get some words out there for you. All right, now, the last thing, something that came up on Super Talk, Rick L. Allen, I want to talk to you for a second. We just talked about this on the air, but buddy, you said that, uh, you know, people go to the movies and all they do is just stuff their face with popcorn and soda. I'll have you know two things. Number one, I pace myself. I don't stuff. I pace myself. But number two, I sneak in almonds. So there. I mean, what do you sneak in? What do you take into? The... We won't tell anybody. What do you like to take into the theater? I always go and get my ticket, large popcorn, large drink, so on and so forth. But and there's a little something extra you might sneak in there too. Another thing that Super Talk was talking about and earlier in the week was what would be your dream cruise? What would be your dream cruise? Well, they were talking about uh, all these different things that they'd have going on and everything. What would I think would be a dream cruise for me? That's an easy one. Unlimited movie and snacks. In other words, on the ship, and off the ship. I think if you're on the ship and you want to go into the movie theater and see whatever's playing, I think it should be a movie cruise where you can go see any movie you want that's in the movie theater whenever you want to. When you go to the port, if you so choose, whatever port you get off of, if they have a theater, you just flash your little card, hey, I'm with Royal Cruise, I'm with Princess Cruise, and I want to go see this movie, and I want some popcorn and a drink to go with it. So if it were me, my favorite cruise would be a movie cruise. Guys, thank you so much for watching Movies with Bruce on Facebook. Check me out on YouTube as well. Don't forget, Scotty Campbell, 92.9. He's on every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with events, political events, events that's going to affect you and I in the community and across the country as well. And I'm on that show every Thursday, 7.50 a.m. Super Talk, WFHG. Movies with Bruce. Give me five minutes and I'll give you a great movie. Thanks, guys.